Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I've been a bit under the weather, so I haven't been doing any planting. My little helper there. Juliana's gonna help me set up my hydroponic system today. I finally got my pH balance in, which I've been waiting for. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer my seedlings into the hydroponic system. I'm gonna set up the water and I'm gonna show you guys just how I do that. Now that I have all the water in, I'm just checking to make sure all the fittings are on correctly and the water is streaming down like it should be. Let's check that. You can see the water is moving nicely through each of the sections. Perfect. All right, so now that I have all the water in my hydroponic system, next I'm going to be adding the nutrients. A, well, a and B. You never want to combine them together. You want to put your first one in and then put your second one in. I'm just going to use the ones that came with it because why not? After you put your nutrients in, you want to check the pH on it. And then I know that I have high alkalinity because I have well water. Um, so I just use some pH down. You want to use very little at a time and check in increments. So let's go do that. All right, so now that my nutrients are all added, I have to make sure that there's enough in there. I'm going to use my little meter here and it's going to read the PPMs for me. From there, I can convert that into ECs. I'm going to take that number, times it by two, and then divide it by a thousand. I want to make sure that I stay between 1.5 and 2.8 for my nutrient count. I'm going to start off at 1.5. It's better to start lower, and then as the plants get a bit bigger, I can increase it. So let's see what our numbers are. Oh my gosh, I sound super nasally from this awesome cold I have here. All right, so I got 734. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out the math on that. I'm also gonna find out my pH. Um, I may not need to even add any up or down because adding the nutrients sometimes um, levels out your numbers. So I'm gonna check that out and then we'll get started on plopping those plants in. All right, so I checked all my numbers. I had to adjust my um, alkalinity a little bit. It was a little high, so I had to add some pH down to it. Now that's all perfectly adjusted, and that's 6.1. Um, I added a little bit more nutrients because there just quite wasn't enough in there, and now we have the perfect numbers. I just wanted to show you guys something. So I put tin foil in the pots. I'm gonna take the tin foil out of the pots that I'm going to use, but that's to reduce any um, sun going into the holes because that'll create more algae and we don't want that. So we gotta block that out. So let's go ahead and get those plants in. As you can see, now there's some little baby plants in there. And not everyone is full because I'm trying to do staggered growing. So now I'm gonna set a watering schedule. I will most likely do one minute for every hour or one minute for every half hour. I'm still trying to decide, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna zip up the sides so the light can be bounced back and forth and it gets a lot of light and we'll check the progress. Now it's not as bright and it's still growing back there. I'm gonna pop the fan on, set my timers and we're good to go. 